Today I will introduce to you the basic functionality and settings of Green Valley International's newest software, LiDAR 360 MLS. Let's start with the software installation. This version of the installation package is called the so Green Valley Suite. After running it and setting the installation path, users will see two software installed by default. One is LiDAR 360 and the other is LiDAR 360 MLS. After installation, the launch icon of LiDAR 360 MLS will be displayed on the desktop. The default startup interface of the software is the File Project Management page. We can perform a series of project-related operations, such as creating, modifying, saving and closing pages. On the options page, the style and language of the software can be set. The current version supports English and Chinese. The default is point cloud data format. It is also possible to configure shortcut keys, such as settings for the three business modules of map elements, vector editing and facade survey. as well as for basic point cloud and vector capture. The next item is to restore the page settings. When the page toolbar or window is dragged out of the display and cannot be restored, click this button to restore it and initialize. In About, we can view information such as the basic version of the software. License is used to view software activation code information and perform operations such as code activation or activation code extraction. Help can open the software user manual, which describes the operation and steps of each function of the software in detail. Then we can open a project. Directly left click to open a new project or other engineering operations. When entering the main interface of the software, there are four main functional areas. The top is the menu bar for all functions, including 12 groups of submenus that can be seen by default, such as tools, which are used for some basic measurements, for example, selection, cutting, roaming, and other operations of the point cloud, importing and exporting of vector formats, conversion of point cloud formats, and projection conversion of point cloud and vectors. Pre-processing is associated with the trajectory. After the trajectory file is set in the project, all functions under the pre-processing page can be used, including trajectory selection, cutting, quality detection, trajectory burst repair, etc. Based on the selected segment data, point cloud segment processing can be carried out and bore site inspection, GCP adjustment, strip adjustment, etc. can also be performed. The classification module mainly includes the following parts. In the drop-down list, LiDAR 360 MLS provides some classification tools based on predefined parameters and point cloud classification according to attributes, or only extracting the ground points of point cloud or classifying point cloud based on vector. We also provide a deep learning point cloud classification function. In this function, multiple point cloud files can be classified at one time, and 11 kinds of point cloud categories can be extracted at once. Tools for manual classification are also provided. The extraction function is mainly based on some elevation, intensity, return number, time, and category attributes of the point cloud respectively extracting a certain type of point you are interested in. The profile function is to perform some routine profile measurements and other functions. Of course, the profile of LiDAR 360 MLS software also supports mapping, which will be introduced in detail later. The panorama display is in accordance to the panorama camera data, and the menu bar will be displayed only after the panoramic data is set. 
We also have a hidden planar image menu bar, which will not be displayed until the image data of the planar camera is set. In the panorama menu bar, you can do some panoramic and point cloud roaming work and take measurements in the panoramic window. Of course, we also provide a calibration tool for panoramic images, which can be used for the calibration of panoramic imaging. The framing module mainly performs point cloud framing. We provide some segmentation tools for point clouds, mainly including segmentation by standard size, segmentation by trajectory, segmentation by a certain vector line, and custom segmentation. Based on the split data, operations such as block editing, node editing, or merging between multiple blocks can be performed. Map Elements Road Facilities provide some automatic or semi-automatic extraction tools for road features. The Map Elements mainly provide road shapes such as lane lines, lane center lines, roadside ed edges, manual and semi-automatic extraction, and road surface markings. Covering the drawings of all types of road surface markings, as well as template matching methods with semi-automatic identification. Of course, we also provide fully automatic batch processing to extract road surface signs. Road facilities provide semi-automatic extraction tools such as poles, power lines, traffic signs, parking spaces, sewer grates, and manhole covers. It also provides fully automatic detection of road facilities in combination with panoramic images and can detect eight types of road facilities. It also provides a tool for extracting strip-shaped features. Of course, there are also the functions of object segmentation, editing, and parameter extraction. The vector editing module mainly provides some common vector editing tools and currently supports the drawing of points, lines, and surfaces. Vector editing tools such as vector selection, interruption, reshape, etc as well as node editing functions are provided in the vector editing drop-down list. Facade survey is mainly based on the point cloud data scanned by a lie grip or lie backpack to draw side elevation plans, including some common drawing functions and efficient drawing tools. Appearance mainly provides layer setting functions, as well as symbol library settings, editing and some annotation functions which can add annotations and modify annotations. The label is for the layer with the existing vector and the vector has been assigned attributes and then displays a certain attribute, which can be displayed in the 3D window according to the vector, which is more convenient to enter the relationship. The road analysis module provides some road analysis functions such as road damage detection and clearance analysis, which are visual domain analysis. The latter part is road section analysis, in which sections can be generated. Existing sections can be imported for multi-period data comparison, and then the parameters of the section can be extracted. The area below the menu bar and the leftmost area of the interface is the shortcut toolbar, which mainly includes the color display toolbar, Vector Editing Toolbar, Fast Horizontal Interface Toolbar, Capture Toolbar, etc. When clicking the right mouse button on the toolbar's blank space to control the toolbar's visibility. The project window displays the directory tree of the project. After opening or creating a new project, we can view the point cloud, trajectory, image and other information in it. The vector node directory shows the built-in layers of the software, which are strongly related to the tools on the two, two pages of map elements and road facilities. Under the custom vector node, click the right mouse button or add layer function below to create a new point, line, surface, or annotation layer. Table function, you can create a single table by right-clicking. The default display in the middle of the software is the 3D window, which is the main window for displaying the entire software's point cloud and vector data and performing functional operations, 
The corresponding panoramic display or plain camera window will not be displayed until the image data is loaded. Below the 3D window is the output window, where some function process information and some prompt information will be displayed. These three windows can all be closed. If you need to reopen a certain window after closing, find the button in the lower part of the color toolbar. The 3D button opens the 3D window. The log button opens the output window. The PT button opens the project window. The panorama button opens the panoramic image window and the image button opens the plain camera window. The element attribute window is displayed by default on the far right side of the interface. This window is used to display the attribute information of a single object so that it is convenient to directly fill in the corresponding attribute for an object. In addition, there are some windows correlating to specific functions, which can be seen through the right-click shortcut menu bar such as display mode, panoramic measurement, vertical object param parameter table, trajectory segmentation table, layer manager, and other windows, which will be introduced in details in the subsequent videos. There are several groups of buttons in the upper right corner of the operation interface. The first one is the settings button, which can set the basic display option of the software such as the default color of the 3D window, the legend of the attributes, whether to display the coordinate axes in the upper right corner of the 3D window, and whether to display the field of view of the panorama. We can also set the interface style of the software. If you encounter bugs or have new requirements during the use of the software, you can submit your valuable suggestions through the software interface or send us an email at support at greenvalleyintl.com and we will receive them and respond timely. Thank you for watching.